Hey everyone, it's Wednesday evening. Um, I was not able to vlog much today. We got up and just had a very productive day. Um, I got a lot done this morning. I cleaned up the house some. I did some work for our family DJM business and then I came to visit my parents for the day. And while we were here, I let my mom watch the babies while me and my brother ran out to a few stores and did some errands. Um, so it's about seven o'clock now and we are actually on our way home, but before I go home, I went on Facebook and asked anyone if they had one of those like jumperoos because the babies are getting to the point where they're able to sit up a little bit more and I think a jumperoo would be uh, beneficial for them and I just want one I don't need two of them so um, someone contacted me today and said that they had one for only $25 so I'm gonna go pick that up I'm excited to get that I didn't want to have to pay like I think they were listing them as like 60 to 80 dollars if you were buying them brand new and I definitely didn't want to do that so I'm glad that this person contacted me and told me that she had some she had one for sale I also ordered two mini pack and plays for the kids yesterday. They should be here hopefully by, let's see, I think I did it Amazon Prime, so they should be here hopefully by Friday. Um, I went ahead and ordered those because the kids are getting a little too big for the rock and plays, and the bassinet um, pack and play that I have in the bedroom when one wakes up, they move around and it kind of shifts the whole thing. And so then they wake up the, each other. So these mini pack and plays, I'll be able to fit in our bedroom and they'll have their own little bed in the bedroom. We're not exactly ready to put them in their cribs just yet. I really want them to be able to roll over on their own and be a little stronger before I put them in their cribs. I'm just paranoid, I guess. And then we also want to get the alarms that go into the crib. So like if the baby gets out of the crib or if the baby stops breathing at night, an alarm goes off and you know, it kind of helps prevent SIDS. So yeah, I'm hoping we get those Friday and we can start them uh, sleeping in that again because the rock and plays, like I said, they're getting too long for them. And with, with Ryan, um, starting to roll over a little bit more she's actually almost rolling over in the rocket play which isn't a good thing because you know it's it kind of wedges them and so if she rolls over it's uh, you know that could be problems I would think anyway because um, she's not strong enough for like on her tummy yet and that kind of leads to the other thing is I'm really trying to get them to do some tummy time it's really difficult they just don't like it and I know you're not supposed to like compare your children to other children their age but I'm kind of just looking at you know friends that have children either younger or about the same age as the twins and their children are already like totally loving tummy time and able to kind of sit up on their own and it's just I just want my kids to you know excel as well and I also have to remember that they were a month premature, so I guess technically they're a month behind, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to remember that. I just want them to, you know, excel as much as the other children do. But I'm sure they'll get there at their own time. Um, what else? I spoke with my husband this morning and explained that I really want to start working out again so I'm going to try my best to start getting up with him when he gets up for work and even if I don't work out I'm going to do some things around the house or do some things that really need to be done for the day because with Carter unfortunately with Carter um, being fussy recently I didn't get anything done yesterday and so <laughs> By the time my husband got home, I was exhausted. And so after we put the kids to bed, I didn't want to do anything. I went to bed myself. So I really just need to get in the routine of just waking up when he wakes up with them. And that way he, take, he can take care of them 
and they'll typically go back to sleep, which will be great. And then I could get things done around the house or, you know, work out. We do have a treadmill and then we've got someone who is going to possibly give us an elliptical, which I love ellipticals. They're just easier on my knees. And then of course I've got some DVDs and stuff that I could work out to. So I'm kind of excited. I'm not gonna start out gun-ho or anything, but I will hopefully try to do it like a couple times a week and then still get up at 6.30 with my husband just to get in the routine of that. I'm not really sure what's going on with Carter as far as him being fussy. He was fussy again today and I've noticed though he's been having some very loose bowel movements which is very unlike him because he used to be very constipated and um, his bowel movements was more on the hard side. So for him to have some loose bowel movements, it makes me wonder if he's got um, a little stomach bug and it, it's very similar to what his sister's uh, bowel movements is like. So I don't know if his stomach is just, if he's got a stomach bug like she did before or if maybe he needs to be on the same formula she's on. I, I'm going to give it a few more days because he's not running a fever or anything and if he doesn't get any better I may just go ahead and try him on the other formula and see if that helps. The downfall about that is well I guess the plus side about that is they'll be on the same formula if he if it works for him. The downfall is, is that it's like ten dollars more than what he's on now and you get less in the canister which doesn't make sense but so it'll be a little bit more expensive but I mean if that's what he's got to be on then that's what he's got to be on I am going to try to get him get them both on solid foods here shortly I might try to do that tonight if I get the chance to but um, I think once we get them on solid foods it'll hopefully help you know settle their stomachs a little more um, I'm just going to start with the cereal first, give it a few days, and then, you know, kind of get them used to eating from a spoon, and then we'll try some other type of um, food for a few days and just kind of add, you know, every few days to make sure they're not having an allergic reaction or anything like that with it. We are about to try our first solid food. I've got their formulas right here, and then I've got some rice cereal right there, and you can tell they're a little bit hungry because they're eating their bibs, and they were ready for making a mess. Are we ready to make a mess? Are you ready to make a mess? All right, let me try starting him with a little bit of formula. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey kid. Hey kid. <laughs> hey kid. Not sure if he likes it or not. Do you like it? Alright, your turn. Let's make some formula for you. Get that mouth all wet so you can take this cereal. Yes, everybody loves your feetsies. Everybody loves feetsies. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this, baby girl. Here. Open. Oh, she got a big mouthful. You see? Uh. You like it? You gotta swallow it. Come on. She don't know about this stuff. You got it. Okay. What are you doing? Let's try you again. <laughs> Not too bad for their first time. I don't think anyway. They're not making as big of as a mess, but I don't think she's swallowed yet. Let me see.
<laughs> you gotta chew it up. There you go. Nom 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 nom. I don't know if she's impressed. She's swallowing it. Good job. Let me see you. Quick. You are just being silly right now. You're just being silly right now. Here. I hope I'm doing this right. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. But I think I'm doing it right. I mean, it's their first time eating it. I guess they have to get the concept down of, you know, opening up their mouth and eating it. So, I want to try some formula. Good job. <gasps> Good job. Good job, little girl. Here. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't know about this. She keeps opening up her mouth though, so that's that's gotta be a good sign at least. I'm gonna let her make a mess with that for a few minutes. Let me just go back to him right here. Cause he's so hungry he's eating his bib. Oh <laughs> he's hiding. He doesn't want you seeing him eating. There's the mess. There's the mess. Not impressed, Mom. Not impressed at all. Here. You're not impressed either. You're making a mess, but that's okay. That's the fun part. Here, I'll wash it down. Good job. Here, you want to wash some of that down? I like the A for effort, guys. Seriously, I do. <laughs> He's like, that's not what I want, Mom. I want milk. How you doing over there, sport? Can you tell Daddy likes soccer? Their Mimi got this, these bibs for them. And I actually like them because they cover their whole body. <laughs> so, granted they're making a mess. It's, you know, it's not that big of a mess. Here you go, bubby. Like, That's gross, Mom. You're doing a good job there, sister girl. Mm. <laughs> it's 
Say yay, we're doing our first cereal from a spoon. So I, this is the item that I got for 25 bucks. It's a jumperoo and obviously they're too small for it right now, but he actually enjoys bouncing in it. You know, I have to bounce him in it, but um, but yeah, I'm so glad I found it for 25 bucks because the woman said she actually paid 60 bucks for it when she bought it and her son never got in it. And then um, the woman who had it before her had paid even more than that. So it's barely used and I like it a lot. So I can't wait till they're old enough or long enough, strong enough to be able to play in it. Hey everyone, it's about that time. I'm gonna have to go ahead and end the vlog. I've got to probably give these little kids a bath. Um, they did very well eating their first solid foods through with a spoon. Um, and I've gotta pick up the house again. It was picked up before I left today. Now it's a mess again because I went to the store and bought a bunch of things. I um, got a lot of storage bins and little different like containers from um like the dollar store i love the containers because they typically are, are can fit anywhere and i always get like one of each and then when i'm cleaning the house or organizing i will try it and then if I, it works then i'll go get more of that type of bin um so yeah and then i went to once upon a child and i got a bumbo chair for my parents house which was only $18 which is amazing considering I paid 40 for each of mine um, and I got um, what else did I get oh I got a snowsuit for Ryan so now she has one and it was only like five bucks and then I got one other item which I can't think of oh I got a play mat for my parents house because they don't have a lot of toys at my parents house so I got a play mat so they can play at their house and so and that was like six bucks so it was great and then I got like 20% off because I had purchased so many items throughout the year so yeah we've had a very productive day I got a lot of stuff done and um, I guess that's it and we will see you in the next vlog good night guys